If you were a football fan in the 70s and 80s, you knew the name Paul Mariner. This guy was a scoring sensation. But his story doesn't have a happy ending. His final years were filled with unimaginable hardship, and his passing at just 68 was a tragedy that left everyone heartbroken. Let's take a moment to remember his incredible career and the heartbreaking circumstances surrounding his passing. Paul Mariner was born on May 22, 1953, in Farnworth, England. Right from the start, he loved football and played with local youth teams, showing off his skills as a centre-forward. In 1976, Mariner joined Ipswich Town and had a great run both in domestic and European competitions under Bobby Robson. During his time at Ipswich, he got the call to play for the England national team and participated in the 1980 European Championships and the 1982 World Cup. He ended up earning 35 caps for England and scoring 13 goals. After Ipswich, Mariner played for Arsenal and Portsmouth before finishing his playing career with stints in Australia, the US and Malta. He started coaching while still playing with the Albany Capitals and then made it his full-time gig after retiring. He coached in Japan before moving back to the US, where he worked in Arizona and at Harvard University. In 2004, he joined the coaching staff of the New England Revolution in Major League Soccer, MLS. In 2009, Mariner returned to Plymouth Argyle as head coach and later became the manager. When Peter Reid took over as manager, Mariner went back to being the head coach. In 2011, he returned to MLS as the Director of Player Development at Toronto FC. But his life was not without controversies. Throughout his career, Mariner faced some minor challenges. He often dealt with recurring problems with his Achilles tendon, which sometimes impacted his performance and ability to play consistently. This issue was a significant part of his career, but didn't overshadow his achievements on the field. Additionally, during his time at Arsenal, there was a notable change in management. This shift might have influenced his opportunities and roles on the team, as changes in leadership can often lead to adjustments in player utilisation and team dynamics. Despite this, Mariner adapted well and continued to contribute to his team. Beyond these hurdles, Mariner was widely appreciated for his skills and leadership. His approach to the game and his ability to mentor younger players made him a valued figure in football. Even after his playing days, he transitioned into coaching, where his insights and experiences enriched those around him. But then, tragedy struck. Paul Mariner passed away on July 9th, 2021 after a brave battle with brain cancer. His death deeply saddened the football community, with many mourning the loss of a genuine sporting hero. Mariner was 68 years old at the time of his passing and had been diagnosed with the disease in 2020. As news of his death spread, tributes began to pour in from across the football world. Former clubs where Mariner had made a significant impact such as Ipswich Town and Arsenal, as well as the English Football Association, released statements expressing their profound sadness and honouring his contributions. Fans and former players shared their memories and condolences on social media, recalling Mariner's remarkable skills on the field and his warm, approachable nature of it. Mariner's career was distinguished not only by his achievements, but also by the respect he commanded. As a player, he was known for his powerful playing style and goal-scoring prowess. Following his retirement from playing, he remained deeply involved in football, imparting his knowledge and passion to the next generation through coaching. His family released a statement expressing their heartbreak and gratitude for the support received during his illness, highlighting his fighting spirit and love for life. The football community remembered him not just for the goals and the games, but for his enduring spirit, leadership, and the positive impact he had on so many lives. Sure, his passing has made us all sad, but we can't move forward without reliving his legacy, right? 
But before we do that, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more such updates. Paul Mariner started his football journey at non-league club Chorley, close to his Lancashire roots. His impressive style caught the eye of Plymouth Argyle, and he signed with them in 1973. At Plymouth, Mariner had an impressive scoring record, netting 56 goals in 135 appearances. His performance attracted the attention of Bobby Robson, who brought him to Ipswich Town in a club record deal of £220,000 with two players going the other way. Mariner debuted for Ipswich in September 1976 and quickly became known as a classic number nine, tough against defenders and prolific in scoring. His talent wasn't just in being a target man. He could also create his own chances and score with his feet. His skills soon earned him a spot on the England team, where he debuted in a 5-0 win over Luxembourg. Mariner's time at Ipswich had its ups and downs. Despite scoring 11 goals in one season, Ipswich finished 18th in the league but reached the FA Cup final, beating Arsenal 1-0. He continued to score for Ipswich and for England, including a memorable last-minute goal in a World Cup qualifier against Luxembourg. Injuries hampered Mariner's career, but he still had standout moments like scoring a superb goal against Norway in a World Cup qualifier. Ipswich's 1981 season saw Mariner in fine form, helping the team to win the UEFA Cup. His goal in the final against AZ Alkmaar was crucial in their aggregate victory. Despite his contributions, Ipswich's domestic performance saw them missing out on league and FA Cup glory. Mariner's international career saw him scoring frequently, but also dealing with competition from other strikers. He played in the 1982 World Cup, scoring in England's opening match against France, but the team was eventually eliminated. Mariner moved to Arsenal in 1984 and continued to perform well, although his later years were plagued by injuries. He eventually left Arsenal and played briefly for Portsmouth before moving to the American Soccer League's Albany Capitals where he also served as a coach. In the 1990s, Mariner played for the Naxar Lions in Malta and returned to the Capitals. He transitioned to coaching and punditry, working with BBC Radio Lancashire and coaching youth football in the US. He joined the New England Revolution as an assistant coach and later became the head coach of Plymouth Argyle, although his tenure saw the club relegated. Mariner moved to Toronto FC as Director of Player Development and later as head coach, though his time there ended after a challenging season. He returned to broadcasting, working with the New England Revolution and as an analyst for ESPN. Throughout his career, Mariner was known for his resilience, skill and contributions both on and off the field. His journey from non-league football to international stardom and coaching highlights a dedicated and passionate career in football. Mariner faced unimaginable hardship in his final years though, bravely battling brain cancer. He sadly lost this fight on July 9, 2021 at 68. His passing was a heartbreaking moment for the football community but his legacy lives on through memories of his powerful play, coaching and the impact he had on countless players and fans. Mariner's dedication to football never wavered, despite the challenges and controversies he faced. His achievements on the field, like his role in Ipswich Town's UEFA Cup victory and his 35 caps for England, showcase his talent and perseverance. Off the field, his coaching career and work in player development continued to shape the sport he loved. As we remember Paul Mariner, we honour not just his incredible career, but also his spirit and passion for football. His story reminds us of the highs and lows of a life dedicated to the beautiful game. If you enjoyed this tribute to Paul Mariner and want to hear more about football legends, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Click the bell icon to get notifications about our latest videos. Let's keep the spirit of the game alive together.